<laughs> but anyways, 12-14. What do you see up top? You see Travis Hunter and Javon Antonio. You see Jimmy Horn there in the slot down at the bottom, and then Zay Weaver down by the 50-yard line. Okay, guys. Uh, again, this is where it doesn't make any sense to me. So you're faking like an RPO, right? You see, these guys are running routes right here. And it's looking like Travis might be his first read out here in the flat, and then he's going to Javon like on this little slant. I don't know why he doesn't throw this. Maybe he's he can't tell if this guy's in zone or not. And if this is going to be picked off. Okay. But then look at this. Okay. I'm just wondering what is going on here because you see these guys running routes. You see these guys right here that are clearly blocking. They're setting up to block. They're not running any routes. And then you see, is this Dylan Edwards or Savion Wilkerson? Either way, the running back. Okay. Like if he's supposed to be the third read, why do you see him straight up give up on this route? <laughs> Like, you see him straight up give up on this route. So you're wondering either, like, I don't know, man. Is it is it option routes? I don't know. But at the end of the day, there's two different things going on here um, that I have no idea, like, how to make sense of this. So I wonder, like, do you want to chalk, uh, chalk it up to option routes? Okay, maybe, but at the end of the day, the biggest thing that Shador was alluding to was that there was a miscommunication on <laughs> what he was looking at and expecting to do and then what was going on on the field. <laughs> and this is like one of those things where uh, if these guys are blocking, shouldn't Dylan Edwards, I think this is Dylan Edwards, shouldn't he be out here in the flat? Or like, was this literally designed as just an RPO where if you don't hand it off and you're not throwing this slant route or whatever, you're just running with it. I don't know, man. I hate the design. I hate the design of this. And uh, to me, it just, it just didn't make any sense. So again, guys, like, I don't know the plays, obviously I don't know the reads or what the, what the progression should be. But when I'm looking at this stuff, it, it just doesn't, <laughs> it just doesn't feel right to me, man. And I mean, that's not even talking about what's going on here up front with the offensive line, man, where <laughs> I mean, that, yeah, this was just a rough one from Kareem Harden, man. <laughs> but yeah, to, to me, like that play just made yeah. absolutely no sense. Let's go to 619. Another example of just guys going deep. <laughs> and we're like, when I'm watching this live, of course, you don't have like the full on coach's view, right? So I just think, all right, are we just sending everybody deep on every play? It makes no sense. Maybe this is part of the, the option route thing where guys just see a coverage and they're just running open, right? So you got empty personnel right here. Four man rush. And again, it, th this is tough because there's there's guys already in the backfield right when he starts his drop. <laughs> you know? Um, but guys are both running deep off of this same coverage look. <laughs> it's hard for me to feel like that would. That's the design. Maybe it is. But again, there's nobody, there's nobody even coming across. There's no depth of concept here. Like for Shador to hit a receiver on this side, he's having to throw it way beyond the sticks. And again, you can chalk it up to the offensive line for blaming him on why he needs to roll out. But again, this isn't designed in any way to where it's giving him a hot read. And I know that's not ideal for him to have to use or need a hot read on a four-man rush, but that's just the reality of, especially coming out of a bye, where uh, that's just where we're at. Like We know that our offensive line was having trouble blocking a four-man rush, and 
we're we're doing Shador no favors here on <laughs> there's just no quick hitters, man. There's no quick hitters. And you see this route here? I mean, it just goes absolutely nowhere here with Edwards, man. Like, I, I, I just do not understand. You have guys running fully deep, and then you have guys just standing around, man. Like, I – so with what Shador was referencing to, I don't know. Like, you would have liked to see Travis get out there, but again, I don't know. So it's, again, guys, I'm just giving you my honest look at this thing. I'm not a X's and O's genius. I've never coached or played, so take this with a huge grain of salt. But to me, the design of this, it just looks off. And so I think like I think back to these sorts of plays that I was looking at like a few weeks ago when Shador was bringing this sort of stuff up where it's like, man, there is no layering of route 